Uh, meanwhile, another conservative group rejected from a college campus, this time at Santa Clara University in Northern California. The reason? Well, take a listen. Right now, there are a lot of people in this audience, a lot of people that are contacting me on my phone right now that just don't feel safe with this club being here. Just the, the benefits of being a part of this charter organization for the, the club are really kind of like outweighed by the, the amount of students that would feel unsafe. They are a direct threat to me. It's not infringing on your free speech to say we don't want this organization on campus. They don't want that organization on campus. This video taken from the meeting where the student senate voted against a chapter of Turning Points USA, 16 to 10. Joining us right now with this reaction is Charlie Kirk, the founder and executive director of Turning Points USA. And Charlie, it's fair to say you're a, conserv a conservative group, right? That's correct. Yeah, I mean, we stand for free markets and the Constitution. I'm still trying to figure out how that makes college students feel unsafe, but uh, they found some backwards, reverse engineering way to see, see that we standing for freedom somehow makes them feel unsafe. And because of that, they've barred our organization from existing and our students' right to assemble. Well, Charlie, I, I read the transcript, and it looks like what they tried to do was they tried to uh, lump you in with white supremacy groups and essentially say, you know, uh, you invite this campus, uh, this group on campus, next thing you know, you're going to have these white supremacists uh, meeting over at the student union with uh, white pointy hats. It's unbelievable, not to mention some of the members that were co-sponsors of us getting this chapter started were Hispanic. So I'd like to see how they're going to try to you know, rationalize that one. But this is a typical playbook from the left, and this is something that we really learned during the Obama years. If you disagree with the leftist orthodoxy, they're just going to call you a racist. Mm -hmm. They don't need facts. They don't need figures. They don't need any sort of citations needed. And this is what's happened at this university. And it's really, you know, I, I think it's a tragedy because these students are turning point with the same members. They just want to talk about capitalism, free markets, and the Constitution. Sure. They're not talking about any of these more controversial. They're not taking a stance on Black Lives Matter, any of this stuff. And they're being thrown under the bus. And their right to assemble and their right to mm -hmm. free speech has been completely barred by leftists on campus that are silencing them just because they disagree. But it's all based not on fact, but on their feelings. You know, you invite That's this right. group on onto the campus, and I don't feel safe. That's hard to quantify. I mean, and w when asked about that, uh, nobody could really explain how your group on campus is going to make it a dangerous situation. Pre precisely. And let's talk about safety. You know who's actually not safe on campus? Conservative students. They're the ones that are being targeted. Let's look at UC Berkeley. A conservative speaker comes on campus. They're going to riot, throw firebombs, and try to burn down buildings. So these left-wing students on campus, they're using that as an excuse. You know, the left hates the idea that there are other ideas. And they're trying to really silence anybody sure. on campus that might disagree with their leftist worldview. This is a very dangerous precedent to be set. You know what's even worse, Charlie, having all these kids come out and say, yeah, it makes me feel bad. I don't want another point of view on a campus, which is the number one place uh, other points of view should be. But it wasn't just the students. There were members right. of the staff from that university who came out and talked against you. It's astonishing. I mean, these, these are paid faculty members that are coming out and saying, we as a university must take a stand against Turning Point USA. Now, again, we're just starting, we're, we're fighting for free markets and the Constitution. And look, a university is supposed to be a place where disagreement, the free flow of ideas happen, right. where people can say, I, I respect your opinion, but I respectfully disagree. Universities are no longer those places. They are really islands of totalitarianism, where if you disagree with the faculty, the professors, the administration, or the left-wing students on campus, you can't respectfully disagree. You will be silenced, you will be suppressed, and you will be called a racist. And look, we as an organization are going to use every single really weapon in our inventory mm -hmm. to try to fight back against this. How many college campuses are you on right now? We're present on over 1,000 college and high school campuses, 300 strong chapters. This is happening all across the country. We're, we're, we are not going to back down. We're going to double down. All right. Uh, Charlie Kirk, the founder and executive director of Turning Point USA. Charlie, thank you very much for joining us live. Thank you so much.